everybody. We're here today to talk about harvesting honey. We've uh, talked earlier in another video about how to super the, the hives. We're at the end of uh, mid to end of July here now, starting to think about uh, harvesting our summer honey. In this area, we harvest honey typically late July and then again in mid September. So our goal is to have all these boxes full of honey by the end of July and uh, then we'll super the collies again after we harvest this honey. We're going to talk about three different methods of harvesting honey. One is using a bee brush. The other is using a bee escape. This is called a Quebec escape board. And the last one is using a leaf blower which is uh, we've modified and shortened it up so that uh, it can work as a bee blower. You'll see that in action in a moment. So we're going to harvest the honey from this hive here. Let's just see what's inside. Off a bit of smoke at the entrance. Set the lid down upside down a good step away. And we'll peel back the inner cover. Uh, lots of bees. Not a lot of honey up into this box here. I'm looking down and I don't see cappings here, I just see open cells. And so that one's not ready to harvest. So we're just going to cover it back up again and set it off onto the overturned lid. Well, we'll look in here. Wow, that looks fantastic. Lots of capped honey down in here. It's capped right over to this outside frame here. So this one is ready to harvest. So the first method to uh, using a bee brush, what we do is just loosen up a number of frames and then we can take those frames out and it's quite easy to brush the bees off when the surface of the comb is capped but we just, it's kind of flicking motion like this so we flick off like that we avoid long sweeps because you kind of roll the bees and can crush them periodically you need to run this uh, brush under water to wash the honey off otherwise it gets uh, quite hard so there we've got one frame with all the bees removed. Of course, we don't want to take the bees with us when we harvest the honey. We're then going to put it into a box that has no frames in it and cover that up immediately. When we're harvesting honey, one thing we have to be really conscious of is robbing. If we're exposing a lot of honey, the smells are there, and if the bees aren't getting much nectar in, they'll come and start robbing this honey. So we keep it covered up as much as possible. Uh, to keep the bees from getting it back in there and to get this once robin gets started it's very difficult to stop it but you just go through frame at a time brush the bees off and that look at that beautiful capped honey there and then covering it up as we move along this takes a considerable period of time but if you're only dealing with a small number of colonies it's a perfectly adequate way to harvest honey just brushing the bees off like so. That's enough of that, you get the idea there. Uh, what we're now going to do is talk about using a bee escape. With a bee escape, it's a two-step process. We have to take the honey supers off the hive, put the bee escape on, put the honey supers back on, and then we come back in several days. Uh, the ideal time is about after two days, the cooler the evenings are, the better it works because the bees move down at night to keep the brood warm. And uh, the cooler it is, the more of that action that there, there is. So we'll set all those supers off. Every one of them is full. Right out of there. You can see how I'm setting the supers on, kind of a crisscross pattern here. So there's very little contact and you're not squishing many bees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a honey super that was extracted last year. So it's empty, the cells have been uh, extracted and that'll give them some space to work on. Then we will put our bee escape in place. The screen side goes down and we have arrows here to indicate what's up just so we can see uh, once the supers are back on, make sure we've put this on the right way. It only works that way around. Then we just set these supers back in place. There. So 
just brush a few bees off there. It's very important when you're using a bee escape that there are no holes where bees could get in. Once the bees move down through that and go through the bee escape, they can't get back up, and so there's nobody home here to protect this honey. If there's holes here, robber bees can get in and steal the honey, and there's a lot of fighting and dead bees and so on, so you don't want that to happen. So what we use is painter's tape to paint any cracks that there may be, and we make sure the inner cover is on good, that there's no upper entrance at all, and then that uh, will be fine. So we come back after two nights, and then we can just lift the honey off the hive and take it in to extract it. There will be no bees present. So that's uh, that method. The last method I'm going to show you is using uh, a bee blower. And what we do with that is take the honey off the hive. The top box wasn't very full, so I'm not going to uh, harvest that box. And then we get a leaf blower going. And we blow in between the bottoms of the frames, and we turn the frames like pages of a book so we can blast the bees out. Once that's done, we just haul the honey away. So we'll get this blower going and show you how that works. So we've removed the honey from this hive, now we're ready to give it more space. Uh, this box here came off the hive and it, it was only about half full. So we'll put that back on. And it's mid-July, so there's still lots of honey going to be coming back in. So we'll give it an extra box on top of that. Put that in place. And now that's supered ready to go for the uh, late summer crop and we'll add probably another box there for the fall flow as well and then just harvest all this honey uh, in the uh, mid-September. When we harvest honey in mid-September we use the same methods a brush or a bee escape or a blower but at that point we're not giving them supers to fill. We're leaving them just with their brood chamber and we carry on with the fall management then. Thanks for watching. Uh, happy honey harvest.